In today's story, I'll be telling you about a planter of trees who engages organisations in conservation. Hello, it's James from the Global Portrait Project, where I'm painting 193 portraits from 193 countries, with each portrait showing a subject who's involved in some positive environmental action in that country. And today we'll be looking at country number 16, Belarus. Belarus is a landlocked country in Eastern Europe. It is bordered by countries beginning with R, U, P and two L's. The primary environmental concerns in Belarus are industrial pollution, the residual effects from the contamination after the 1986 explosion at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in northern Ukraine, 16 kilometres south of the Belarusian border, and multiple threats to its vast forest area. The subject for my portrait for Belarus is Anastasia Zdanovic, a leader in environmental protection in Belarus, an elected regional representative who engages the private sector in conservation, and a founder of the Tree Planted Platform. Anastasia is a third-generation lawyer, and as her parents wanted, she went to study at the law faculty of the Belarusian State University. She became passionate about environmental law due to its interdisciplinary nature and global impact. Anastasia was raised after the Chernobyl disaster and saw the suffering of her relatives and friends. She decided that when she got older, she would do something to make this world better and people healthier and happier. So, remembering what she dreamt as a child, she decided to conduct a research on legal regulations of environmental safety of nuclear energy. This was the beginning of her environmental path. For more than 10 years, Anastasia was leading the NGO, Belarusian Environmental Movement, as its general manager. The NGO allowed her to unite national and international public and private sector organisations in solving environmental problems. This role helped her to learn about global environmental issues and search for effective solutions. One such solution was to design innovative projects in the field of climate change, land degradation and waste management, many of which have had long-lasting impact. In 2010, Anastasia designed and successfully implemented the first ever project in Belarus on hazardous waste management within the framework of the Stockholm Convention. As a result of her work, 20 tonnes of wastes containing PCBs were transported and disposed of at a specialised plant for the disposal of hazardous waste the project marked the beginning of the disposal of wastes containing PCBs in the country. Anastasia created new systems of more sustainable storage and processing of agricultural products in the territory of the Naliboski National Reserve. She supervised the project on land restoration, established a new system to prevent the use of sand pits for the unauthorised dumping of waste and led the planting of 178,000 trees. She is a country representative at the GEF Council and has led successful implementation of environmental projects for the World Bank, GEF, EU and UN. Anastasia and the organisation she leads have added one 0.26 million saplings to Belarus's forests through various initiatives. One million took root during a GEF Small Grants Programme project launched in 2018 that aimed to replenish trees lost to an infestation of the tiny and destructive bark beetle. Drawing on strong partnerships and innovative methods such as the nursery cultivation of mixed forest crops of species invulnerable to the beetle, 
the project team was able to plant more than 1 million trees and replace 160 hectares of lost forest that can absorb 38,000 kilograms of carbon dioxide per day and emit 32,000 kilograms of oxygen. The project's success earned it a 2019 Partnership for Sustainability Award from the United Nations Global Compact. Anastasia is a candidate for a PhD in Environmental Law. She is currently working on the Tree Planted platform, which aims to unite leading organisations around the world working in tree planting, allowing millions of people to plant trees and participate in climate change mitigation with one click. In recognition of her achievements, Anastasia has been awarded the title of Environmental Leader by the University of California, Berkeley, selected as a Climate Reality Leader by the former US Vice President and Nobel Prize Laureate Al Gore and has become a global ambassador at the Women in Tech Network to promote climate tech worldwide. If you'd like to find out more about the Tree Planted platform, I have put links in the description below. Final words from Anastasia are, let's save our beautiful earth together. There is more information about this painting and how to get involved with the Global Portrait Project on the website and Instagram page, and the links are in the description below. Next time, we'll be meeting a marine litter expert from Belgium.